This will be another very short lesson. Um, this one we are talking about the slippery slope. A okay. uh, number of you will have heard uh, the slippery slope idea before, so this shouldn't be um, new to all of you. Um, some of you may not have heard it before, um, but uh, the general idea is fairly clear. Uh, the, the slippery slope is a fallacy that occurs when a speaker or a writer rests a conclusion on an unsupported warning that is controversial and tendentious to the effect that something will progress by degrees to an undesirable outcome. Now, in English, what on God's green earth does that mean? I commit the slippery slope fallacy when I say, when I assume when my reply, the slippery slope fallacy by the way is one that we commit typically um, as a reply to a point that somebody's made, but not always. Um, but here's the way it is, right? So I say, um, well, let me get, just give you the example to illustrate it. Um, if we legalize pot, next thing you know, we will be making meth legal and then heroin and it will never end. Notice what they're saying here is that if we do what's proposed, there's a conclusion here, there's an issue here about whether or not we should legalize pot. And their argument is that we should not. Why? Because if we do, then we're going to start down this ever worsening trail of legalizing drugs that are worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And it's going to be a slippery slope. Once we start down that slope, we're just going to keep sliding all the way down until we hit rock bottom. This is where they say, and it will never end, right? So this is an example of reasoning by slippery slope, which is, again, another form of fallacy that we're worried about here. Um, legalizing pot doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to legalize meth and heroin and all these other drugs, okay? Um, so that's not necessarily a reason to reject the idea. Not to say that the idea should be accepted or rejected. Hear me being neutral on that. What I want you to understand is that a good reason for um, rejecting the legalization of pot may not be that it's going to lead to all these other issues. That's called a slippery slope. That's what we mean when we say that the um, effect uh, uh, that that thing will have will progress by degrees to an undesirable outcome. That's what we mean. Um, the slippery slope is uh, it's fairly common. Let's give another example. Let's say that I'm out with um, with my wife and we have dinner at a nice restaurant and I tip the waiter uh, and I give the waiter a 20% tip and my wife looks at the amount of the tip and she becomes frustrated and she turns to me and she says, 20%? You want to tip her 20%? Hey, you know, next thing you're going to do, you're going to tip her 25 and then 30 and the next thing you know, you're doubling the check and it never ends. Well, She's objecting to my tipping 20%. She doesn't. She clearly doesn't think that I should tip 20%. But why not? Because she believes that if I start tipping 20%, I'm going to progress tipping more and more and more and more and more until it becomes absurd. And so her point is that I'm going to start down the slippery slope and that I'll never stop. Um, and right. So the next thing you know, I'm tipping her 120%, 150%, 200%, like all that sort of stuff. So. Um, anyways, that's the basic idea behind a slippery slope. Not much to it.